Afternoon, welcome to 3 Penny Love World of Warships Reviews. This time here we're bringing in French ship the Eagle or Eagle. I can't pronounce it, so we're just going to call her the Firestarter X-13. French Premium Tier 6 Destroyer. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm going to have to rain down a godly fucking firestorm on you. All right, let's go into some of the details of the specs. 139 millimeter rifles, five by one. Rate of fire is 12.5. Reload time is 4.8. Rotation speed, 6.5. 180 degrees is 27.68. Firing range is 12.78. Her HE damage is 2,000. Chance of fire is 9% normally. Um, initial shell velocity is 700. Shell weight is 40.2 maximum AP shell damage is 2600 and her two torpedo tubes are two by three rate of fire is basically 77 seconds for reload time rotation speed on that is going to be 25 seconds in degrees 180 turn time is 7.2 torpedo damage is 18,400 maximum torpedo range is basically seven kilometers AA defense is basically nothing to speak of and her maneuverability she can go 36 point a maximum speed without flags is 36 turning radius is 680 and rudder shift time of 4.1 her surface detectability is 7.4 and her air detectability is 4.35 all right here we go so she means throwing torpedoes out at the fiji now i highly recommend this ship for a few reasons um She's a very good fire starter. You can put a lot of damage downfield and she will light you up. Like this Fiji's coming in. And he's smoking up. Now, normally a Fiji would actually rush you and everything else of that. That would have been better for him to do. But I got the capture going right now. Now, as you can see, the torpedo range is a problem. Um, this makes it a higher skill ceiling for most of you because you cannot stop firing your torpedoes. Well, you can, but the buffer zone is so small that it's basically non-existent. So you will be using your torpedoes only for, um, you know, when they're coming in and you really need that damage. Or you'd have to be, you have to be a good torpedo artist and know how to predict where they're going if they're coming in to they'll run into those torpedoes. Now that's my first fire set. As you can see here, I'm already up to 12 can damage. Now this is the older Cleveland right here, so that this is before it got moved up to tier eight. This is tier six. Um, if not, I would have been radar and I would have been dead. I would have played it completely differently. But think of it as whatever the tier six is in the American right now, which I don't remember. Um, but look at this AP damage right here. That's gonna be coming up. Gotta love it. Now, I already got one fire going. Smoke is about to run out, so I'm going to get on the way. Now, the thing you have to remember about the ship is that its guns are, have a terrible angle. You basically have to get flat broadside to fire all your guns. Now, normally that would be a problem, but it's not. And the reason for that is, is it's not a cruiser. It acts like a cruiser, it plays like a cruiser. But since you can't get Citadel um, because of it, it's not a cruiser. So going bro full broadside, counterintuitive to what you normally want to do. But since you're in a DD, it's actually what you want to do, um, considering that we have the issue with the Battleship's AP, if you're going straight at it, like you normally would do by the flight, it'll literally shoot through your ships. Where you put it in an angle like this, you're giving full broadside, you will basically get overpins, which is great. Now you can see this Karnik right here. Now he's way back there, and look at the shell travel time. So for every kilometer that you have, you basically want to add a second, because it's literally that long. The shells stay in the air forever. Let's turn this out. Okay, we just shot those one set. Second set of fire. Okay, so you get two full sets in the air before 
they, they land and hit the target. And that's not even at its complete max range. So if I was going for a max range target, I'd probably be able to get three sets in the air doing it. Which is not good. So you have to lead perfectly. If they're maneuvering, it'll, you'll miss and everything else like that. So your primary target are going to be battleships, of course. So that's why I'm going after this battleship. I'm lighting them up. Now, I do know there's a cruiser over there. But I'm still firing my guns because you basically play this as a light cruiser. You want to be on the move. You want to be firing your guns. You definitely want to keep in the action. Engine boost activated. Now, right now, I'm only detected by two ships, so that's fine. Again, I'm near my max range, so I have some maneuverability. The ship, now, everybody's I've heard from a couple of people, and it's on the forums and everything else that, that, well, it has bad maneuverability. Okay. That's not exactly true. Um, I can get up to 42 in the ship with the flags, of course. So that right there on its own tells you that it's not exactly still, it's still maneuverable. Second thing is when you're in a turn, normally when you're in a turn, you bleed off speed like crazy, not the ship here. Again, you see me at 41.6, 48, but I'm in the turn right now. And yet, I'm in a slow turn, I can still keep my speed going. Up oh, is 42.4. Okay, now I need to switch targets right now because Mel Bettine is right here. And he's way too close. Up oh, there's another fire. So I burnt the repair kit and then I burned another one right afterwards. But I had already planned on slowing down to go smoke up so it wasn't even a big deal. Again, most people are saying, well, why did you burn a repair kit right there? Well, because I needed to be able to slow down fast enough. And if I didn't, ooh, he just got nuked. Um, in case like this, you're like, okay, if you burn the repair kit and you're about to pop smoke, what's the worst thing that can happen? You glide out your smoke if you're going fast enough. So I was already cutting down on my speed, so therefore I wanted to make sure I can stop inside of my smoke within a significant period of time. Now, if you're using... Oh, the coming. Oh, there's my engine boost up. Ooh, knocked out his steering. Now, Fuji right here is going to make a mistake. You're in a Fiji. You have sonar. So basically, all you have to do is get close enough and sonar me, and I would be dead. He chose not to for some odd reason, because the only thing that's over here is the Atlanta, and the CV is over here. That's it. My game would have been over right now if he actually came up and said, Nope, I'm going to rush this guy. I'm going to end his life now and get him out the game. Nope. Mistake. And I take advantage of that by shooting at Cleveland. Now the Cleveland realizes, okay, no, this is DD right inside like that. Let me try to take him out in about a second, but it's too late. He's, he's gone. He's done. And he, as you see, I'm pulling away. I'm going to shoot at the battleship again because he's near my mid range and I'm going to try to put as much fires on him as I possibly can. Again, you see me take a sh shot from the battleships and again, since I am broadside, you got an overpin. So again, you figure that, okay, well, since the te terrible angles on the gun, yeah, if you're fighting, knife fighting a DD, yeah, you're going to get dead. But for most other ships, being broadside is actually a good thing, except for certain cruisers that can, well, have real guns that will end your life. All right. So one thing over here right now is the Fiji and the New Mexico. Now I'm curving back in because I want to get another bead on the Fiji. But he wasn't what I was expecting he was. He got a little bit farther forward. I keep forgetting he has good consumer as well. Come on, let's land these shots here. So my rating on this ship, what would I recommend this ship? 
And yes, um, right now this chip is available for you if you got a cold or you can buy it in the store and everything else like that. And this is one of the few chips that I would highly recommend buying. Um, you would figure that it's a joke because the torpedoes are so short at seven, but that just means that you gotta be good at your gunnery. Now, I'm not saying I'm good at gunnery because I'm not. I mean, these floaty shells will throw anybody off considering you go to the other ships that fire you know, much better arcs. I'm going to smoke up right now. Actually, no, I actually not. I'm going to speed up. I'm actually going to get closer to the battleship and then I'm going to smoke. Um, and there's a reason for that. I want to make sure that he's in my best range before I smoke up. Because there's an Atlanta right behind me and he will be able to spot. So there's another fire on him. And he repaired it, of course. So I was like, oh, George, thank you for repairing that fire. I sure appreciate it. Can I set another one, please? Uh, I'm wondering who's going to set the fire, me or the Atlanta. Come on, need that fire. I mean, I already have eight fire. Oh, there's another one. So the ladder got a fire on him, I have a fire on him, and I'm trying to get one more on him. Um, he does not have preventive maintenance. Because you can see an awesome blaze going, now he, now he's on fire in two sections in the middle, and one, four. So yeah, he's in a world of trouble right now. And I'm trying to actually set a fire on the aft end of the ship, so I can, he can have four fires, but I'm actually, this time here, I'm actually giving him too much sleep because he's not going at the speed I was thinking he was gonna go at. Unfortunately, the Atlanta died, so I'm over here by myself with a battleship and a Fiji over here. Smoke screen has just run out, so I'm gonna get back underway. Now I do see the planes coming in from the carrier, so I'm not firing right this second because I want to make sure, I want to see if the carrier is going to end his life first. No sense of giving away my position where I actually have two battleships on either side of me and the Fiji isn't within range. So I'm waiting to see what's going to actually happen with the, the um, New Mexico. Again, the firing angles on the ship, terrible. Just off, but... If you use it the way that I'm guessing walking and attended it, yeah, you have a good thing there. Okay, he's down. Um, speed on the ship. Again, good. Our victory is inside. Range on your guns. For a DD, again, I would say fair to good. Fire chance. <laughs> awesome. Again, um, just call it the, the fire starter because that's what it is. Um, it's like basically having a stealth Cleveland. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it does have the best fire chance at this tier. So I think it has the best fire DPM. And as you can see, it's just, I already have 10 fires. 10! So I'm basically getting a fire at every 20 shots. Or 20 hits, excuse me. If I can actually shoot and hit him, and that'd be a different story. <laughs> and I'm just gonna get, he's going at max range. I'm reversing, I just wanna try to get another fire. I'm trying my best to keep him in range to keep him resetting the cap. But I think he's actually going to try to go through the cap because I think he's tired of just being... Because he did slow down and try to cap it. But it, I think he got tired of me. Oop, there's a random shot. He got tired of me just, you know, turning me into a human barbecue. Let's see if we can get a couple more shots off on him. Yep, I think it just within range. I hope I think it about to leave the range. Yep. But unfortunately, for my case which is fortunate, the Farragut has smoked out the two carriers back here. Activated. So, the Ranger and the Independence. Hmm. 
XP pinatas. I carry is doing his duty, trying to keep them off the Farragut. And that's the independence over there. He's barely within where I need to be. I'm gonna get all my guns on him first. Oh, it's missed me. That's good. Again, you can see even that slight adjustment made it so that I was not able to hit him. But the abroad side, no problem. So again, this is available for the whole inside of the new mode that they have right now. Um, I basically really think there's way too many different currencies in the game right now. I mean, it was basically best to just to have two, but hey, it, it is what it is. It's another way for you to get a shot. He's leaving my range, effective range, and Ranger is closer. So I'm just gonna light this guy up. Ooh, there's another fire. Oh, you missed. Again, that speed is deceptive. You thought you had me. There's a Confederate and a Citadel. Come on, can I put him out of the misery before the game ends? I'm gonna try my best. 